on a Windows 2022 server running Active Directory and a domain controller, we automatically have domain name services on that server. So I've opened up DNS in that particular domain controller, and you can see forward lookup zones as well as reverse lookup zones. And the reverse lookup zone I manually created. Now it's time to create a pointer record. I've already created a forward record, which is going to be posted to server one at this IP address. And that works great. When we want to ping server one, it will respond with the .212 address. But now I want to ping the IP address and get the server name instead. So I need to add a pointer or PTR record, also known as a reverse lookup record. So I'm in my reverse lookup zone, and I'm going to right click and choose to create a new PTR record. So here you can see the host IP address. It already filled in the first three octets because it already knew that I had that based on the zone itself that you see over here on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 212 for the IP address for server one. And I'm going to put in the host name of server one dot my domain dot int. Now, if the server is a member of the domain, you could also click the browse button and browse to it as well. So I'm going to click OK on that, and there's my pointer record. Let's see if it works. The server itself doesn't have to respond back. We just want to be able to have it show us that it will resolve the IP address to the name. So normally we would just type ping followed by the name of a server or client, but in our case we want to do the IP address to show the name. And in order to ping that, we have to do a minus A. So that is standing for the Address Resolution Protocol, or ARP, and ARP does those reverse IPs to names if we need it. So I'm going to put in 192.168.21.212. Let's see if it resolves. And it does. It resolved the IP address back to the name. Once again, it's not important that it doesn't respond. All servers and all clients have pinging or ICMP turned off by default, with the exception of domain controllers. They're the only ones that would actually respond on a Windows device. But you can make a firewall exception rule for that if you'd like. So that is how we set up a reverse or pointer record, PTR record, on a Windows 2022 server.